another day, another post. We're at Dark Lake Provincial Park. Red Betty got me right by the shore here, and I'll show you just what exactly is on offer here, because this is an absolutely stunning spot. I'm going to grab a quick bite and then I'll carry on. I don't know that I'm going to do much fishing here. Sorry about the wind noise. Um, I think I'm just going to have a, a, little, a little meal and get her back closer to the busier road. This is pretty far back. So. This is a really nice spot. Found a great little spot beside the lake here to stop and get a bite to eat. And if you listen, you can hear a sound I absolutely adore. The sound of wind in the leaves. Many of which would be birch. Lunch is fruit mix, yogurt, Greek yogurt, Joe Louis for dessert. I'm, I'm worth it and zero energy and that sound therapy it really is a beautiful summer day here way back country not too far back there's people around the kid just went by on an ATV and there's a, a group I can hear over here so right now anyway I'm not totally isolated, which uh, I generally seek when I come back on these backcountry adventures, but that's all good. See you in a bit. When I'm way back at these remote spots like this, I often wonder what it must have been like a long time ago to live here, because there have been people in this area for a really long time. Um, I don't mean the First Nations, I mean people that came in sort of started farming and settled, kind of settled the area. I got something on my face. Um, and you, you always kind of think, <laughs> you always kind of think, I must have been so lonely for these guys. But I don't think that was the case at all. I think they probably had more contact than we do in many ways. In the modern era, more consistent anyway the tech has more of an isolating effect in a lot of ways than um, bringing us together and for genuine sort of real human contact staying aware we're all good I'll see you in a bit So, I'm just going to go for a little walk here, because if I'm being honest, I don't remember exactly where I drove in. I think it was that way, but I don't want to go up that way. It's a little rough for wee red Betty. Mm, maybe it's that way. I don't know. Anyway, it's a gorgeous day be lost in the woods so let's go for the walk here re-establish my bearings here it is dark lake dam you see any safety concerns contact them now what constitutes a dam safety concern. I guess that's the dam there. Let's go check that out. After I figure out how I get out of here. Yeah, let's go uh, walk up the, the dam itself. Maybe even cast a few. I've got to, uh, there's a hiking trail that goes up there. So we may be doing that. Um, that's right. 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. So. I guess this is it, basically. There are little camping spots to go, but um, a spot for fire. It's got a chair carved. Yes, this looks most definitely like the road. Yes, here we go. Okay. This is where we're going. Go here, and then back down this way. Could carry on, I suppose, but Giving little Red Betty enough of a workout. Look at the scale of these trees, eh? That is a big tree. Not a birch, but a big one. So, yeah. Moving this way. Okay, we're good. This is the sound I'm talking about. The wind in the stand of birch trees. My chariots. Waves coming right towards us, but the wind, if you can hear me at all, over that wind, the main effect. I have to, guys. Right by the lake. You can stand at trees. That incredible. You gotta get a quick shot. I'm fixated, I'm not obsessed with birch. Be honest guys, I'm feeling rather isolated back here. Here at Drake Lake. Dam site. This feels way back and I have been much further back than this. Like not the end of the world if I had to make my way out of here at all really. Um, listen to the trees. I love that sound so much. Must be a childhood memory association or something. I really do love it. Well, it's beautiful too though, right? But yeah, so for some reason, there's a girl right there. I don't know why, but this spot feels really far back to me. Make our way back towards where I was originally headed. That's the memory for me today, though. Those trees. So beautiful. Okay, let's go. If you do end up coming here, guys, when you get across the dam walkway here, if you can't immediately see it, carry on. Because it looks like there's a trail that goes up there. And I assume loops back around to where you may have parked your car. You know what? We may have to go actually stand in those trees 
you can hear me over the wind. I think that's what we're doing. We're gonna go stand on the streets. Okay. Might come off a little weird, but I'll tell you the plan. I'm gonna go stand in the middle of this group of trees. Try and give you the experience that I have, I'm having as close to a POV thing as possible. It's right there. Okay. We're making our way in here. Not going too much further. It's because it, there's too much of a too much grief to get in here. My legs are getting uh, scraped up. I'll go in just a little bit further. Trying to share this love with you. So did I tell you? Did I tell you? If you were looking to come back somewhere to camp though, at a provincial park, I think this would be a great spot. Dark Lake Provincial Park. There's, um, I think there's very little chance that you're gonna encounter too many people back here. And it feels isolated, it really does. Listen, listen. Safely back at Red Betty, and as I mentioned, when she's been parked in a really isolated spot like this for a while, I usually give it a little, in case anything has decided to make the undercarriage of this vehicle home, it has a chance to vacate before I get her done. Let's go.